Now, three key points before we move forward to actually creating some of these. First of all, as I indicated earlier with my discussion about, you know, at the moment, early 2019, this is the situation with the apps and how to build them. And hey, this is a dynamic, fluid environment. WebGIS is changing. ArcGIS Online updates quarterly, which is actually good news because every time it updates, it becomes more powerful and easier to use. So both good things. But again, keep in mind that this is a rapidly changing environment. Uh, and the peripheral tools that you're using along with story maps change as well, right? So, you know, just take image, image uh, libraries, Flickr changes, right? Google Plus changes. Oh my gosh, you know, we could get into that. So lots of changes in these other environments that you're using as well as story maps. So you've got sort of multiple, uh, you know, geo uh, orbs that you're juggling. Um, and then good planning is still important. Right, just when you go out in the field and you conduct field work, you've got to think about uh, lots of things, safety, devices, the units that you're going to collect, what you're going to collect. Same thing with story maps, right? You, what are you going to communicate? So some people you actually, you know, plan it out on, on a board. Uh, what are we going to tell here? What data do we need? What is our audience? What kind of story map tools are we going to use, et cetera, okay? So we're going to get into building a story map tour now, but as we do, I'm going to address uh, a couple of things that Hala told me about uh, earlier this week that you folks wanted to hear about. First of all, um, <clears throat> these are these are great great questions, by the way. But one of the things that you were wondering about is, and it, this is some of these things are a bit challenging. We could have a dialogue about. But when is a story map determined to be the most effective platform for conveying information? And that really varies by organization and theme. I'm not going to say that story maps are the end all be all there may there there are definitely places for still static slides for a single map that's just in arcgis online or a pdf that you make of a map um it, it, you know etc but since you and i you at lincoln and us at esri and me and my other roles at the universities um, we often think of, of the world in spatial terms, right? In fact, most of the time, <laughs> we're, kind of, we're kind of map geeks, aren't we? we? We think of the world in spatial terms, like how things are changing over space and time. So oftentimes, story maps are really compelling, easy, uh, intriguing, valid ways of communicating. Now, I don't use them for every single presentation. As you can see here, I could have put this whole set of PDF slides into a story map, and oftentimes I teach story maps uh, with story maps. Um, in this case, I didn't. I wanted to convey this in some sort of static slide so it's easy to transport and so on. Easy to transport a story map as well. I could have sent you the URL, but you can see that I use a variety of different means as I'm sure you do as well. So that's kind of a, uh, a challenging question. I'm, it's a good one, and, um, but I think different, different organizations have, some organizations have loads of story maps. Some have one or two. Um, and so we can work together in the future to figure out, okay, what, what sort of the low hanging fruit? I mean, you don't want to, since you've got full time jobs, you want to be able to do some of these things in a fairly um, uh, light manner in terms of hours. So that Lakota language story map of mine, for example, it took me, it probably took me a couple of days to get that all done, mostly because I had to record it and piece out the, and parcel out the, the audio. The actual story map part, the mapping part, took maybe an hour or two. Uh, I have one called Sounds Around the World, where I've got 100 sounds of leaves rustling, ocean traffic, uh, paper, um, you know, et cetera. So 100 sounds, and I ask people going through that story map, name the sound, what is this sound? I want people to think about, you know, using all five senses. So the, the, the thing that took me a while on that one was um, compiling all the little sounds, but also developing the quizzes, which I actually have in Google Forms. I developed a little quiz in every sound, so it's 100 quizzes. So that took me a while. The actual mapping part, putting those points on a map, I just had a spreadsheet of my lat longs with my sounds where I took the, the audio, and that was, a, that was a slam dunk. That was easy because it was just mapping that audio latitude longitudes into a story map and you can geocode within a few minutes with a spreadsheet into ArcGIS Online. And then I spent a little more time symbolizing the points, you know, but, but that whole part was like a half hour. So again, thinking about 
what do you want to do that's sort of a proof of concept that you can think about dipping into story maps? I think that would be the way to go rather than some huge project that you've got. You want to, you want to story mapify this big theme or this big mission of yours. Start small and, and go from there is my advice. Also, um, you asked, has ESRI determined the right amount of time spent and the specific kinds of content that makes it most useful for, for users? Well, taking that um, question of yours, that's why I tried to thread it into uh, those opening slides that you had, uh, that you saw, and hopefully those were helpful in terms of, you know, how to think about your audience, that whole clues acronym there hopefully was helpful in that regard. Um, I hope that was helpful on that part. Good practices, yeah. Um, and resources for story map creators, well, this being one of them, but if you go to storymaps.arcgis.com once again, there is a whole mountain load, a flotilla load, a boat load of tutorials out there that our team has created. So my slides here are not the end all be all, I realize. There's some hands-on activities that I encourage you to go through after we're uh, through chatting today, but inside the resources zone, inside the story maps part of the website, You've got, oh, okay, basics, how to make a story map, five principles of effective storytelling, et cetera. Choose an app template. Uh, the community blogs, I'll go into this more. I was gonna go into this more later, but uh, let me just uh, mention this. Um, this, just uh, hang on here. We've got a zone called GeoNet. It is a discussion uh, community for um, S3GIS users of all, of all kinds, educators, researchers, transportation engineers, you, know, you name it. As you probably would expect, inside GeoNet is a story maps zone. And so let's say you've got a question, I can't answer it, one of your colleagues can't answer it, post it here, post it on this, as you can see here, how do I embed tweets into my story map, uh, etc. So this is a very active community and I encourage you to check it out, story maps uh, zone on GeoNet. There's also, as I'll show at the end of these slides, uh, there's a newsletter. There's no shortage of resources. So hopefully that's helpful. All right, so hopefully that was uh, um, a good um, set of discussion points there. Just to refresh your memory, folks, the types of story maps are right here on this slide. Uh, you've got the map tour that we're going to make in a moment and a journal that we're going to make in a, a little while. And uh, a short list, remember that California colleges and universities, uh, the playlist, the basic, the tab, swipe. We're not gonna get to all these, but I have some activities again in these slides that you can actually use my guidelines to create your own, the cascade, et cetera. So these are different app types with little thumbnails here to kind of show you what these are gonna look like. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this activity right here and I'm going to guide you through creating a very simple but hopefully instructive story map uh, right here. You can see that hey Joseph I, I get it now uh, I can create these things. So I was over on the story maps I'm going to get rid of a couple of these tabs uh, for the moment yeah let's just do that. 